10 upcoming rappers of 2017. My name is Joshua Enviers. I did this for 2016 and it got a huge positive response saying, I appreciate you doing this. I found my new favorite rapper or artist that I listen to on the daily now. So thanks. And thank you because that's the whole point of the video, you know, sharing 10 artists that I listen to that I want to share with you guys and I feel like you're gonna have a big year on the internet or in the mainstream. So let's get started first with Kevin Abstract. He's a pretty out there artist compared to all the other guys I have on this list. A lot of his older songs were rap and alternative based but now his new music is more pop based I guess if you want to classify genres and genres are a very tricky thing but his sound sounds similar to guys like Kid Cudi, Tyler the Creator, or Childish Gambino. His latest album dropped in 2016 titled American Boyfriend and the visuals and storytelling in his music videos are absolutely amazing. It brings out this old school like bright vibrant colors with the inspiration from Wes Anderson films. His music is different from everyone doing it right now. I died in the past, I live in the present, I brag about the future, I'm gonna die any second. I cap me some weapons, I keep them in the trunk. She keep the Nina on her, she ain't afraid to jump. I'ma move to London, my grandma stay there. I stare to the sky, grandma K there. Next up, we have Taylor Bennett. A lot of people know him just by calling him Chance's little brother. He dropped a project this year, Restoration of an American Idol, which features a lot of my favorite artists, such as Chance the Rapper. Kyle, Superboy, and Rari. And love him or hate him right now, Lil Yachty is on a feature as well. And this isn't about him, but Lil Yachty has a tendency to, you know, everything he touches right now, it usually blows up, which is absolutely crazy. So I have a strong feeling this year and next year, Taylor Bennett is gonna be making some great music and hopefully people, you know, finally wake up and listen to this man's music. Not gonna lie, I was really tempted to put him on my double XL freshman predictions list this year, but I feel like it was a little too early Maybe next year he'll be even bigger than he is right now and then he'll be in that consideration or even greater than that. Next up we have Superboy, another Chicago artist. It's going to be a common theme in this video. Chicago has a lot of amazing rap artists and just artists in general. His biggest track right now is Fool With It Freestyle featuring Chance the Rapper and that's the first song I heard. One day YouTube just had this Chance the Rapper Fool With It Freestyle in my recommended and Superboy was on that. He had a nice verse and then I realized, wait, I've heard of this guy before. I've This, this is the guy from Hurt Everybody. Once Hurt Everybody kind of fell out, I didn't really follow them, but then I was reintroduced to them thanks to the YouTube guys that recommend me good music so I'll definitely be following what projects and songs he drops uh, in the future and i'll definitely be going back and checking out some of his previous stuff uh before hurt everybody you should too caught her in some low light she got no type speak up these speakers loud like what i wrote right why you telling secrets baby i don't want to gossip i might show you where the light goes but i know where you go at night i've been stacking money on my tippy toes i'll be stacking money till my ceiling grow next up we have shmino a st louis artist i was first introduced to him by a feature with saba and no name and what's really great about like this small little group of artists that i listen to is that they all collaborate with each other that's extremely rare to see like in music, just on YouTube in general, or like in life, people are willing to help each other and make something great together rather than just individually. Sharon is caring and I really do appreciate what all of these dudes do. But not gonna lie though, his Black Swan debut album wasn't wasn't that good in my opinion. He had a few good songs on there, but not all of the songs, you know, I'm just like, I'm, I'm gonna skip this one. Personally, his EP, Black Jupiter, Five of the best songs I've ever heard from this man. He's amazing on features, has a great voice, and you should totally check him out. Black Jupiter especially. I'm a CERO list time coming. I think you know I'm time coming. Young forever day old. His stage break a leg, nigga OJ Mayo. High stunt. I be alone sometimes, honey. Wonder if you have time for me. Never let a day go without me blacking out on all these pesos. Next up, we have Bass. He signed under Dreamville, so you know, he has features with guys like J. Cole and the rest of them. Very underrated artist in my opinion. To be signed with J. Cole and not really get the attention he deserves is kind of ridiculous. He dropped the project last year in 2016, Too High to Riot, and those were some of the best songs I've heard on an album and probably one of my favorite albums of 2016. I really regret not posting my top 10 albums of 2016 uh, video that I normally do. Cause this guy, he would have been up there on that list. 
Hopefully in 2017, he gets the attention he deserves because I don't know how this man is this criminally underrated. Definitely check him out. Killing these niggas, I got a feeling these niggas is out to get me, but trust me, I got him. Straight out the bar, my city love me, we thaw my nigga, you don't want none of them problems. She acting crazy, she calling, calling me baby, I just be feeding them bitches the bottles. She living way up in Harlem. Next up, we have Trapo. Trapo is another artist similar to Smino's situation where I found him through a feature with Saba. If you don't know who Saba is, be sure to check him out. He was in my 2016 10 upcoming rappers list. But I heard Riot featuring Saba by Trapo and I was kind of hooked to this man's music. Similar to Saba, he has a unique voice and unique like sound to him. And that's always a good thing when listening to music considering nowadays it's all the same ad libs. Everyone sounds almost exactly the same. So when you hear something out of the ordinary like Trapo's music, it's always a breath of fresh air. He released an album called Shade Trees a few months ago, and he seems to be releasing new music bi-weekly or monthly, along with collaborating with some of my favorite Chicago artists considering he is from Wisconsin. Check him out. Next up we have Joey Perp who's a part of Save Money, Vic Mensa's Click, and like I said, <laughs> Chicago really did take over this list because he's another rapper from Chicago and in a few years the rap game and like the rap scene is it should be filled with a lot of talent from there. He released a project called Eye Drops last year. He was on Sway in the Morning with Vic Mensa and he absolutely killed the freestyle which I'll be playing the clip of in a bit. Very underrated artist and lyricist. Been a dream, been a king, nigga, been a god, been a man, nigga, been a corner scout, bitch of mine, been a cherry ass, nigga, sweeter than some cinnamon, ice cream, nigga, same color as a paint job, and the inside, same color as a ring pop. I've been pulling all since fat far tank top. Next up, we have Joyner Lucas, who, like Taylor Bennett, I was really considering putting him on my double XL freshman predictions because out of all of these dudes on this list right now and out of all of the, the rappers on my double XL predictions list, Joyner Lucas is like a, a rapper rapper. He's the only real rapper rapper, essentially, you know, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Because like I said, in this video and in my double XL video, genres are kind of all over the place. Rappers are singing and doing all this pop stuff. But Joyner Lucas actually comes with the raps, you know, he comes with the lyrics. He comes with the flow. He's the full package if you want to be the perfect rapper, you know. Unfortunately, he's not getting this shine he deserves. And with his 508, 507 album, I believe he's dropping soon, if not already. Uh, be on the lookout for that. He's set out to have a big year this year. Now, wait a minute. You finally got some paper cut. Wait to get it. And it don't really matter because you're still lame. No matter how much cake you got, it wouldn't make a difference. I'm tired of all you rappers want free verses. But fuck about it. That's how I make a living. You ready to hold up then? I'm ready to roll up on that. I'm ready to mold up. Make your motor spin. I'm blow the boat up. Every corner. What are the what you know to say? Next up, we have Snow the Product. I found her through a Logic remix of Flexecution. She was rapping on it, speaking Spanish, rapping fast, you know. Everything that should appeal to someone that likes rap music. And ever since then, I've been following her music and like her YouTube channel pretty closely considering she's like super funny and she has a whole like brand. She makes all of her stuff, all of her videos like with her team, all of her clothing line with her team as well. So I completely respect what she's doing and hopefully this year and next year, it will be a big year for her. More importantly, she raps better than some dudes doing it right now. So check her out. I done way too much, but too many. I rap too much, rap too hard, confused plenty. How the fuck a bitch this pretty rap that fire? I'm a diamond in the rough and bitches can't stop fire up and all that. Thinking I'ma have to quit playing. I've been staying in my lane and I ain't never switch any. But to me, this game ain't pay me right. Ooh, I was gonna kill him, Lord save me. I... Lastly, we have On Q. I've been following this man since like my freshman year in high school. It's That's... Oof what six years almost seven years it's absolutely crazy he's released a ton of projects on the internet from the leftovers leftovers 2 can't wait an angry young man which is his most recent album i know this year he dropped the ep called perfectly tragically flawed where he switched up the genre a lot of his older stuff was just him rapping and a lot of his newer stuff is him you know doing branching out essentially singing being an R&B artist, pop artist, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Genres are weird. He, he does more than rapping now. Not a huge fan of all the singing, but it's still good music nonetheless. So check him out. He's been doing it for so long. Just like me, he needs to blow up already. Didn't come this far to fall. Used to study, but this shit like bar for bar. In 10 minutes, smoke that boat with him, inhale that talk. 
as a kid, shit got hard. I was mad at God, but I can't hate that man. He was doing his job. Now I'm only this strong because of the shit I saw. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Check out the videos on screen and be sure to support the artists I mentioned in this video. I'm wondering why they're hating and still underestimate him. I think that they're waiting for him to slip. I'm still running on gravel and I'm a part of the battle and I want to make example of this. And show you that I can do it and catalyze the whole movement. I think we can still maneuver with this. You can't even find light at the lighthouse.